What's up guys, it's your local realized man Isaac here and today I want to talk about the merits and the negatives of being competitive. But let me start with a story. You see a couple years ago while I was in high school my friends were playing chess right? And I never really played chess before. So I played a few games with them and of course because I was new to the game I was getting destroyed. I was, everyone was beating me, I was completely shit, didn't know what I was doing. So what happened is because I'm a naturally competitive guy I felt a bit embarrassed losing, right? So during the summer break of high school that year, I went and joined chess.com, which is a website where you can verse people online. And during that break between over a period of maybe six or seven weeks, I played over 400 games of chess. Now, I didn't even fucking like the game of chess. I just played that many games so I could be better than my friends. And sure enough, when I came back, to school the next year, I was the best. But here's the thing, being competitive is only good if you're being competitive in something that's actually gonna assist you, something that's going to help you. Because it gives you that extra drive, it gives you that extra momentum, that extra push to do things that you normally wouldn't do. Things that become painful, things that are usually painful are tolerable when you have that competition in your mind, when you have that obsessiveness you're willing to do the extra mile however you have to understand that there's always going to be someone better than you there's always going to be someone who is smarter faster bigger so naturally what happens is you're going to encounter one of these people and no matter how much work you put in if they're already talented they're putting in as much work as you you will never catch them so there's a dark side to being competitive you can end up becoming very, very negative, very depressed, too obsessed with chasing something that you might not be able to achieve. You see this all the time in the gym. When someone's trying to get bigger than someone who might have more natural gifts, someone who's more, who's genetically superior, who is also working hard. Or you see this at school when someone's studying extra hard but they're trying to beat the genius of the classroom who's working hard already and has a natural talent. So you have to know what your limits are. You have to know when it is appropriate to stop with this competitiveness. It can help you because that obsessiveness, the unhealthy obsessiveness, is sometimes what's needed for you to actually become the best, become a master in your field. You need to be someone who sacrifices certain aspects of their life, whether it be your relationships or other areas, so you can focus on that craft and become a master. Sometimes that's what's needed. This is not about having a balanced life, it's about becoming the best. The obsessiveness is needed, but there's also the dark side you need to be aware of. So I hope you guys got something out of that video. Don't let the dark side consume you. Unless you really want to be the best, then you're going to have to let it go all out. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Peace. I'm gonna show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bang, boom, that's it. And you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it! Just do it!